With more affordable devices, you always have to make compromises, however, it's all about finding what's important to you. With their latest business model, Dell gives you a lot of bang for the buck, including the latest hardware from Intel. Starting on the outside, the laptop is entirely built from plastic. This is where the company made a sacrifice, as the material is a bit rough and bendy, so durability isn't the best. The lid and base have a matte surface, while the sides are more glossy. Using plastic also makes the device thinner and lighter, weighing 1.79 kilograms and being just 18.1 millimeters thick. The lid can't be opened with one hand, but we like what comes next. The input devices are fantastic, as the keyboard offers clicky and tactile feedback, while the touchpad is smooth and responsive. There is an optional fingerprint reader as well as an IR sensor for face recognition. Next, on the sides, we see the port selection. As you can tell, it's heavily populated, as the left side houses an HDMI 1.4B port, one full-sized 5 gigabit USB port, and one 10 gigabit USB Type-C port. On the right, we see a LAN port, two more full-sized USB ports, with one 2.0 and one 5 gigabit port, an audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. There are two display options, one with a TN panel and one with an IPS panel. We advise you to skip the TN option, as IPS panels are much better for pretty much all types of work. We tested the IPS version, which has a full HD resolution, excellent viewing angles, and decent brightness, peaking at 311 nits. It covers about 53% of the sRGB color gamut, which is alright, considering the laptop isn't marketed toward creators. The color accuracy improves slightly with our design and gaming profile, but the Delta E value still doesn't go below 2.0. More importantly, the panel doesn't use harmful flickering, so you're safe even with prolonged use. We'll have our profiles linked in the upper right corner and in the description below. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. With a 54 watt hour battery pack and the Alder Lake U series, the laptop scores well in our battery test, lasting for 11 hours and 57 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 3 minutes of video playback on a single charge. This is with the Core i5-1235U, which is the most popular U-series CPU that Intel offers in 2022. With the 10-core 12-thread layout, you're getting a lot of multi-core performance. It's a sizable increase from last year's Tiger Lake SKUs. With these specs, the laptop doesn't need anything special in terms of cooling, however, Dell outfits it with two heat pipes and one fan. With this setup, the CPU can push its wattage a bit higher maintaining a consistent 25 watts power target in the later stages, while spiking at high as 34 watts for short bursts, which will be most noticeable in daily tasks. In terms of comfort, the laptop is very quiet, while the plastic chassis isolates the heat pretty well, with an outside temperature of only 41 degrees Celsius. The cool stuff doesn't stop there, as the upgradability is quite good too. We see two SODIMM slots for DDR4 memory, which is readily available, so you can easily expand the capacity. For storage, you get one M.2 slot for Gen 4 SSDs, which can get very fast with speeds of up to 5000 MB per second. We have a teardown video about the Latitude 153530, which we'll link in the upper right corner. The Dell Latitude 15 gets a lot of stuff right. It's got well-populated I.O. with a variety of different ports, good upgradability, and decent battery life. Performance is quite good, while the chip doesn't struggle with temperatures, thanks to the good cooling setup. Unfortunately, Dell made some sacrifices, mainly the build quality in the display selection, but we think the positive things about it heavily outweigh the negatives. For more info about the Latitude 15, check out our detailed review on our website.